Hi everybody, welcome to Wednesday's IndyCar. My name is Gordon Ross. Uh, today's news is a good piece of news for Scotland. Again, another uh, groundbreaking piece of engineering produced in Scotland for the first time. The news uh, broke today. An alert reader, a uh, friend of mine, Kenny, passed the information to me this morning that Ferguson Marine Engineering in Port Glasgow has won a contract from, a Europe, uh, from Europeans to build the world's first hydrogen-powered ferry. Now, hydrogen-powered ferry is going to be unique because despite hydrogen, as you know, being a flammable gas, it's the only flammable gas that when you use it uh, to power an engine, like a car engine or a ship engine, produces nothing but water vapour. It's entirely clean, entirely green, and this will be the first large-scale uh, shipbuilding program which involves a hydrogen-powered engine to, to propel a ship. So this is a, a major breakthrough for Scotland, and it's a huge, uh, a huge development for Scottish civilian shipbuilding, which for many years has taken second place uh, behind the likes of the, the warship yards on the Clyde, which are run by British Aerospace. So this is a Scottish company, Scottish-owned company, producing civilian shipping, and interestingly getting its funding from, guess where, Europe. So another very strong reason why Scotland needs to maintain all its connections to Europe uh, permanently, if possible. I've mentioned many times that um, the, the, the whole of the Scottish economy is going to have to become green as time goes on. This is another example of where that green technology is ge getting developed. Cutting edge technology. Now you may wonder where is the hydrogen going to come from to power this ship and isn't it dangerous because we seen airships and things like that catching fire in the past and it looks like it might be a dangerous substance. Couldn't be farther from the truth. Interestingly hydrogen uh, is just a component of water. If you have let's say a lot of wind energy on the go you can use the wind energy to electrolyze water so you pass a current through the water and it splits the atoms of hydrogen and oxygen which combine to make water splits them into two <coughs> and separates the two gases out. The hydrogen being lighter is collected at the top of a, of a tank and pumped into containers where it can be compressed and turned into a liquid. The oxygen is vented into the atmosphere or it can be bottled and used in hospital. So it's a win-win situation for everybody. But this hydrogen uh, for power is not a new idea, but it's a great way of using surplus uh, green energy. So when you've got very windy conditions and you're making too much power, you can store that energy by using the power to turn water into hydrogen and then storing that hydrogen as a fuel source for both shipping and possibly I think the other big market for this will be in trucks. Because as we know, uh, electric cars are fine at the moment, but they need to recharge. Trucks are slightly different and possibly agricultural machines and um, heavy duty vehicles for use in the countryside might need to be hydrogen powered in order uh, to survive in the harsh winter conditions in the Scottish Highlands and in the islands for example. So hydrogen is going to become a very important technology for us. The hydro and the electric power systems that we will put in place in the next 20 years will make the fortune for the country because we are absolutely drenched in energy. We are surrounded by moving water, surrounded by by winds gusting all the time around the coastlines. We are absolutely bursting with energy and hydrogen is a fantastic way of storing it and utilising it for much larger projects. For example, power stations that can then come on stream when you need them by using the hydrogen to, you know, to power a boiler system and drive steam turbines. Hydrogen is a great material, wonderful. It produces only water as a, as a byproduct. There are no toxins, no soot, and no greenhouse gases. That's the most important thing about hydrogen. It reverses greenhouse warming because if you release the oxygen from splitting the water apart, the oxygen goes into the atmosphere and it displaces some of the carbon dioxide. It's good for human beings, it's good for air quality, it's good for animals. The plants need a bit of carbon dioxide, the animals need a bit of oxygen, and rebalancing the, 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 um, the oxygen balance in the atmosphere is useful, as well as using hydrogen to propel your ships. It's a very exciting time to be an engineer in Scottish industries, and I think Ferguson's 
have landed a fantastic contract here and I hope this is the start of an entirely new green shipbuilding industry in Scotland. Not only using hydrogen but also electric propulsion, solar electric, even going back to, in some cases to sail assisted hydrogen powered ships. These are the future technologies. Fossil fuels will be phased out. They are belching smoke and fumes everywhere across the world. They're causing global warming, they're causing climate to become much more energetic and much more violent. And if we want to slow that down and reverse it, this is exactly the kind of technology that we need. So it's a good news story for Scotland today. Well done to Ferguson's. Uh, I look forward to seeing this ship when it's finished. I'm going to follow their progress um, as they work their way through the contract all the way up to the launching of this new ferry. Uh, but I predict this is going to be the start of a very successful uh, new era for Scottish shipbuilding, for Ferguson Marine Engineering in particular. And I hope this is, as I say, the beginnings of the new green economy. It's certainly a big, big part of it. That's today's IndyCar. I'll see you again on, uh, on Thursday with more news and politics. I'll see you then. Bye for now.